So in this chapter I'm going to go through sculpting with layers. So using layers is very similar to Photoshop. Um, I'm just going to open up my Sculpt Layers dialog and I'm just going to snap that up here like this. So as you can see right now I'm on level 6 and um, I basically want to add like a kind of maybe a levery texture to this 3D model. So to do that, I'm going to create a new layer. So I'm just going to click on layers and go to add layer. And uh, that creates a new layer above my base object. So I'm just going to rename this and call it uh, maybe lever like that. And I'm going to choose a brush preset. Go to content browser and presets sculpting. Sculpt brush presets and I'm going to go for maybe one of the organic brushes. So I'm just going to double click Elephant Skin 01 and that automatically opens up the correct brush. And the brush size is a bit large so I'm just going to reduce it. And I'm just going to paint onto my model here like this. And that's adding a nice kind of levery texture. like that and so if I use the erase tool here that's basically going to delete the area around the eyes like that because I don't want lever around the eyes and I'm just going to delete the nose like that around the lips maybe so that's a kind of useful method of using erase so you'll notice that we have this strength option here so if I think this lever is looking a bit strong I can actually reduce the strength of this layer like this. So this is basically the benefit of using layers. You can control the strength value and we can also turn it off completely by using visible. We can lock it, which means um, I can't work on this layer. I can't accidentally kind of paint on this layer because it's locked. So I'm just going to add a second layer go to layers, add layer, and I'm going to call this um, skin detail 2, like this. I'm going to choose a different brush, maybe something different for the ears. Um, lever 2, double click it, and I'm just going to give the ears a slightly different kind of material, like that. Just make sure that I've got Skin Detail 2 selected. I'm going to lock these layers. You'll notice that um, I forgot to turn Symmetry on. So that's just something to watch out for. In this uh, example, I'm not going to bother, but you should always keep an eye on Symmetry because it tends to turn itself off. Maybe just add some details here. So now I can uh, look at my different skin textures. I can control the strength of this new layer, like that. So uh, in terms of the workflow, it's pretty useful in, um, if you want to blend between different layers. And uh, if you want to keep your layers organized, you can create folders. So you can create a new folder, I'll call this skin stuff, and I can just uh, drop my two layers into skin stuff like that. So I'm just going to look at a few more options. We've got um, delete layer obviously so let's say I want to get rid of this layer here. We can delete it and we've got clear layer which is slightly different. It basically keeps the layer but deletes the contents. So I'm just going to undo that. We can merge visible so it basically merges everything. Uh, it doesn't seem to affect the base layer but um, if I just undo this, go back to my skin detail layer, go to merge visible. Basically those two uh, layers have combined, but uh, it leaves base object alone. And then lastly, flatten, and that basically flattens everything, including the base object, so everything gets collapsed. So again, quite similar to Photoshop. Just going to undo that. 
And then we've got delete higher levels, which means if I had a level seven uh, with detail on it, I can delete uh, the contents of that level. So one thing to note is uh, also when you create a new layer, it has a level assigned. So this is level six, these two, because I created them at level six. And you can't go down to kind of lower levels, obviously. We can with the base object. And as soon as we do that, we can't access these uh, layers because they're on level six. And that right now we're on level three. So that's just something else to bear in mind.